This is our medium snowflake wire form. So as you see, it's made up of six pieces which are fused together in the middle, making them ideal for just threading on your beads ready to use as a decoration. So I've, create, I've collected together um, beads I'm going to use to create um, a decoration today. I've got the quite frosty, almost frozen themed um, beads here. So I've got eight millimeter, six millimeter and four millimeter Swarovski pearls. And that is the iridescent light blue color, which is absolutely lovely. You can really see that there. And then we've got four mil crystal AB two times zillion beads. So that really has a sparkle on both sides of the beads. And I've got Preciosa size 8 and size 11 crystal AB seed beads. And then these little guys here are the fish up guards. So ordinarily used to slide onto the back of your fish up to stop them falling out of your ears. Actually going to use those on these points of my form here to stop my beads from sliding off. And there's a very good reason for that and I'll explain all later. So I've already formed um, a pattern that I know fits onto the spoke. So you can follow my pattern and it will fill that quite nicely. Obviously you don't have to follow my colour scheme or my pattern, but what I would do is plan it out beforehand. So slide on one spoke um, and figure out your pattern before doing all of them. It's just slightly easier and it stops you having to worry about your beads falling off. Um, so I had to do a little bit of sort of rearranging to make sure that my beads filled almost to the end. I was a bit short on my first plan, so I slid them off and rearranged and added a few more beads at the beginning. So we're going to get started. So I am going to be threading on a size 11 seed bead to begin with. Sometimes it's easier to scoop from the mat and sometimes it's easier to pick beads up. So I tend to find that the tiny beads are easier to pick up on their own, uh, scoop up from the mat. So I've got a size 11, size 8 on there now. I'm going to go for a 4 mil zillion bead and then another size 11 seed bead. And then I'm going to go for 4 mil pearl. So all my pearls are alternating with zillion beads and I've got a seed bead in between all of the beads. That way they just it nicely spreads them out and sort of shows off the definition of the beads a little bit more. So back to a zillion bead, seed bead, and I'm onto a six mil, another seed bead. another zillion bead and then the next pearl I'm going to add is the eight millimeter pearl so I'm going to instead of put a size 11 in between I'm going to put a size 8 just to give it a little bit more balance in design so that's my size 8 seed bead followed by my size 8 sorry eight millimeter pearl back to another size 8 seed bead zillion bead back to 11 seed bead and now a six millimeter. So I'm from the eight millimeter, I'm reversing the pattern here. So I'm now onto a six millimeter. Seed bead. Four mil zillion, if it wants to go on there. Go on, there we go. Another seed bead. And now my four mil pearl, size 11 seed bead, another zillion bead. And as we start at the end, at the beginning there, I'm going to repeat that at the end. So I want a size eight seed bead, then an 11. And that was mainly just so I got the right spacing along the whole spoke here. So you can see there's just a little bit of a gap at the end. And what I'm going to do here is use one of the little earring backs to go onto the end of the spike. Now, these take a little bit of poking and persevering. And the idea is that these act as a stopper for the beads sliding off. 
And the way to do, the reason for doing that really is you can use these to make decorations and then pop them away in all your decorations this year. And then next year you can bring them out and you think, oh, actually, I'm going to change the colour scheme. And you just pop that off, recreate your snowflake and making the forms reusable, which I think is a really nice idea. Um, you'll find that some of them you really have to persevere and push on because the idea is that they stop things coming off. So the hole is a little bit snug, but I tend to find a little bit, as long as you've got the, um, pe the spoke lined up with the hole, I tend to go for a little bit of a twisting action, seems to ease it on um, slowly and gently. Um, but those beads are now not going to drop off at all until you physically pull that off. So that's how you get started. And then now it's just a case of repeating the whole process for each spoke. So I will speed this bit up because otherwise that's going to be a little bit boring. And away we go. And there we have our final snowflake. So it's quite therapeutic sliding on all of your ends. And these little stoppers just mean that if you want to change your design at all, you can just slide those off, replace all your beads, and then create another one. I hope you have fun designing your own. Um, if you want to then hang these, you can tie beads from a uh, thread from the centre to hang it, because if you hang it, from one of these ends, potentially the pressure over time might make these pop off. Um, so I would just tie a bit of um, Supermax cord, the um, thin clear thread around the middle so it doesn't detract from your beautiful design.